there guys welcome to my gaming channel this uh, is yet another tutorial and recording console gameplay now currently I have three methods I have this method using action excuse me this this option here I use that option when I'm recording console gameplay and um, we are of course we have the record central 3 which is for my live gamer extreme capture card that is what you would normally use but I don't use it for two reasons first reason is it keeps crashing and another reason is it's only 60 megabytes a second okay I want to be able to record a much higher bitrate and even be able to record at a higher frame size as well and you can do that with this OBS let's minimize that um, what, we, what we're gonna do today is we've got the mic already um, set there so uh you know i i can record my voice but right now really this action is recording the screen so i'm just using this for the purpose of showing you how to record console gameplay what we're going to add is a video capture device none of the others game captures for the pc video capture device is to do with your anything you got connected like a capture card you know in my case it's a live gamer extreme so let's call that the live gamer let's move this out of the way Live, oops, extreme. Not the quickest typer in the world, but don't don't sue me for it. There we go. Now it says signal out of range, right? Now what I what I do is go to custom because it, right now it's it's outputting nineteen twenty by ten eighty. There we go. A bit of battlefield one, just to show you it's. I've just press X. Can you hear me pressing the button? Welcome to Battlefield 1. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 4 recently and I've re really been enjoying it. So I've got some good gameplays to share with you guys if you want to see them. Um, some brilliant takedowns of helicopters on tops of buildings on Siege of Shanghai, things like that. You know, it's, I get shot from me trouble, but it's still awesome when you can take out a helicopter with an RPG. Um, I always put match output out out match output fps or highest fps right i change to that one and go to 709 i change partial to full okay now catch your audio you just leave everything the same now you notice it's like that so because my native resolution here is 2560 by 1440 well it's not native it's super virtual super resolution in this AMD and this takes sometimes it takes a while to come on I don't know why it shouldn't do but uh, I find it very uh, dodgy software sometimes but I have a lot of software that's dodgy but dodgy in, in it won't work properly so I mean not responding but it does see you get this now um, if you go through I'm not going to go through this because there's an option to turn on virtual super resolution so I can Played my PC games at uh, 2560 by 1440p resolution, and that's the maximum my graphics card would allow. If I had a better graphics card, it'll probably be able, you know, take up to 4K. I'm not so sure on that one, but I know I can go to 2560 by 1440. Let's get rid of that. Now you notice this. This is 1080. This here is 2560. So right-click, transform, fit to screen. There we go. Otherwise, it'll record it like that, you know. Um, now, the live gamer stream, you can see there, it's outputting sound, but you can't hear anything. So, what you need to do is press edit, advanced audio properties, live gamer stream is there, monitor off. There we go. Now you can hear the music from the game. Now, what I suggest you do, if you're going to record a commentary is turn that on but make the output of the game go through your headphones so you might can just pick your voice up that's how I do it anyway you can do that and uh, so I, this this is another thing you have to check this if not if you want to record your voice I've got this this one checked and this one checked and I have to uncheck all these you only need two channels all right um, Go into settings, let's go into outputs, audio. First two audio bit rates are set at 320, 
which is when you when you um, download a CD that you bought, you look at that as a as a bit rate, and you know it's going to be awesome quality audio. Right. So what we've got here, desktop audio device, is the speakers. Now, if I plugged in some headphones, it'll still it'll still be that. So I'll hear all the sound through my headphones instead. Mic, phone stroke, auxiliary audio device is the microphone CAD audio. I've got the CAD audio U37 microphone, and that's the one that's I'm using to record game footage from a console. You know, it's um, and it's in two separate tracks. But uh, as you can see, nothing else is enabled. Uh, video. Base canvas resolution, output scale resolution 2560 by 1440. Lank, lank sauce, what a stupid word that is. Sharpen scale in 32 samples. That's the top one, that. And 60 FPS. Now, if you've got a 30 FPS console game, you set it for 30, of course. But the Battlefield one, it's 60 frames a second or thereabouts. Um, output, hang on, which one is it now? general okay there's that many options with this um yeah yeah recording there we go now i've got it set to advanced audio track one and two encoder x264 rescale the output now if you if you record a 1080p video then you rescale the output in um in sony vegas it'll take longer so you might as well just do it all in the one recording that's what i say and you're probably saying well it doesn't look any better well it actually does look better on youtube because youtube allocates a higher bit rate if you have a higher frame size video you know and higher and more in terms of fps my rate control is vbr bit rate is 250,000 kilobytes a second or 250 megabytes a second right that's about right that I can't really distinguish between the original and um, the gameplay itself, even though it's not exactly lossless. It doesn't have to be. Buffer size the same. CRF 18. Ultra fast because it encodes really fast. But I don't don't know is it being crap in terms of quality. You can have it on medium, which will take longer, and I don't notice any visual difference. Profile is high. You can tune it for animation because gameplay is animation, but I don't bother. And check the variable frame rate box, right? And press OK. These are these are just all the settings I, I go through. So what I can do now, if I record, um, let's just do a test recording. Greetings, gamers. I'm Pemby sixty six. I can't play this game for shit, but let's uh, go through the options. I don't know if it's making a sound in the game, but let's just go to the campaign for now. Uh, I'm not even going to bother doing that, but, you know, let's see if it's recorded. See what I mean? I don't know if it's making a sound in the game, but let's just go to the campaign for now. Uh, I'm not even going to bother doing that, but you know, let's see if it's recorded. And there you go. Now, what, what I've got there is a video with two recorded tracks one for your game and one for your commentary. So if the commentary is drowning out the game and vice versa, you can adjust it in whatever editing software you use. I use Sony Vegas. I use Vegas Pro 14. Oh, and by the way, AMD, you've just updated the driver. When I update the driver, Sony Vegas won't even bloody render. So what the hell are you playing at? You know, it really does me in when, you know, like with PCs, one day they work, the next day they don't. I had to roll back the driver in order to do my editing. And that's what delayed a lot of my work on YouTube. I, you know, usually I've done it every weekend, but I had to stop this weekend, well, last weekend. And, uh, you know, I couldn't upload anything. 
But here's another example. Let's just mute it. Where are we up to here? There's a, there's a moment I want you to see. <laughs> it's, it's always uh, something good like that happens in Battlefield and then some bastard spoils it by shooting you, you know? And I'm thinking, how did he shoot me? Then he was floating in the water and he was using a, um, an automatic weapon. He must have found a bit of land to stand on and shot me at that very moment. But anyway, this is recording console gameplay. This is PlayStation 4 Pro running in boost mode. Um, why, why have it any other way if you've got a PlayStation Pro, you know? But I'm very interested in the uh, Xbox One Scorpio. It looks some, a bit of a beast to me. And it looks like uh, Sony will have to, you know... I think they'll be scratching their heads when they see that thing come out because the, if, they, if they've got the potential to improve the PlayStation 4 Pro, I don't know. It's uh, not a matter of just changing software, is it? It's, it's the hardware is better in the Xbox One by the sounds of it. But anyway, I'm Pemb66. This is recording console gameplay with OBS. I thoroughly recommend it. You can go with lossless quality if you want, but uh, the file sizes are absolutely huge. Okay, I hope you understood all that and uh, catch you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching.